Terry and June Electron have been married 20 years and have a 16-year-old son, Ben. The family live in the Middleshires, in a small, detached house complete with recently installed solar PV panels, which will, thanks to the feed-in tariff, make them a tidy profit over the next 25 years. The panels were June's idea. She feels guilty enough about her own lifestyle, without having dead polar bears on her conscience. So she's declared war on the family's energy use. Another of June's measures is the Energy Shore Shower Limiter, which restricts each shower to 10p. This has so far been plenty for everyone. In fact, Terry and Ben have been competing to see who can have the quickest shower, Ben being in the lead so far. June has also found this helps to get them up and out in the mornings, helping to stop Ben being late for school again. One of the key reasons Terry agrees to June's changes is that the cost of energy has gone up another 20% this winter. The changes have helped them all to be more considerate of what they are using. And in fact, June herself has switched to washing her hair in the evening when costs are cheaper. This also allows her to spend longer drying her hair at the cheaper rate of electricity. And she started to use this time to pamper herself a bit more and paint her nails, which she never had time to do when she got ready in the morning. Terry checks the smart meter display over breakfast and is chuffed to see that they are still in the green, indicating that they have stayed within their usage limit for the morning. The smart switch online service saves them money by switching their supplier on a regular basis, using real-time pricing information. It sounded great when Terry signed up, but he really starts to appreciate the benefits when the morning news headlines declare further energy price hikes. And his colleagues at work complain that they can't keep up with which supplier currently has the best deal. He recommends Smart Switch to them and secretly hopes that they do sign up so that he gets the 50 quid shopping voucher that the company provides for recommend a friend. Christmas could be all sorted. According to the Smart Meter, the best time to do the washing is early afternoon or between midnight and 6am. This isn't a problem for the family though, as June works from home three days a week and likes to get through it when everybody else is out of the house. This means she can usually get it hung up outside if it's a nice day and she loves the smell of line dried washing and often gets the chance to take a break in the afternoon sunshine. Terry particularly appreciates the new energy system. To him, he's managed to get rid of a whole set of responsibilities. He still checks the bills when they come in and the extra information and monitoring means it's easy to see when the energy is being used. The fact that the whole system is automated means he can relax and let it organise itself. As long as they stay within their limits, he doesn't need to think about it. He also worries less about things breaking down or being left on accidentally, as the system monitors everything and warns him when things are wrong. Last week, the family bought a new freezer, selecting a model chosen for them by Smart Switch. It doesn't have an ice machine like Ben wanted, but he was easily appeased with the crazy ice cube moulds. They all like the shiny new high-tech appeal of the model that they received and its impressive energy-saving features, like whirring into action if the door has been left open for any amount of time. This comes in handy when, against Dad's better judgement, Ben decides to see if he can climb in. One thing Terry was particularly pleased about was the decision to have solar panels installed on their roof. The Watts next door recently installed a wind turbine and whilst... By all accounts, it was making them a decent return on their investment. Terry preferred the way the solar panels looked on his house. He liked that his wife and Carol Watt next door seemed to be getting closer as they gossiped and compared notes about their respective energy generation devices. He and John Watts were more than happy to pass the time teasing each other over how their energy systems were definitely better than the others. Both families agreed, however, that they were clearly the greenest street in the Middleshires and the most desirable place to live.